Well, a uh, pleasant good Wednesday to you all. It's hump day. It's last Wednesday in October, and it's going to be another mild day today with temperatures in the low to mid-70s, and it was another chilly night last night, and we have two big NBA games on ESPN. We have the Nets taking on the Bucks, and then we have the Lakers taking on the Nuggets, and I'm hoping that we at least get our first win of the year, but just keep the faith. That's all we can do. Stay strong. Play hard. Yeah. Never give up, you know. Just just stay loyal. And I mean, I've been a, Le a Laker fan since birth, you know, when Jerry Buss became the owner. And we had a lot of good years. And uh, we've had a lot of lean years. You know, there's a roller coaster going through all sports teams I grew up watching, especially my hometown teams in Lakers, Dodgers. Rams and Kings, you know, those are the oh, those are the four major my four major teams in the four major sports, you know. I know the we also have the Chargers, but they were from San Diego, and they're like the Renners, just like the Clippers are from San Diego. They're also the Renners too, but it's the Rams and the Lakers is where it's at. And of course, we have our neighbors in Orange County and the Anaheim Ducks and the Angels, you know, but. It's kind of odd because you know how the Dodgers are the National League team and the Angels are in the American League, but I sort of secretly rooted for the Angels for a while because Mike Sosha used to be the uh, used to be our catcher for the Dodgers for many years, and then he was part of the farm system and coaching staff with the Dodgers until he got who signed with the Angels to be their manager back at the end of the '90s, beginning of the 2000s, and yeah, both Mike Sosha and Tommy Lasorda were Hall of Fame managers that I grew up watching, too. And yes, I know that the Dodgers, of course, had their success in the 80s, winning a couple of World Series and after losing three times in the 70s. And But then we had to wait like 30, almost 30 years to make it back to the World Series and had two straight World Series trips in 2017 and 2018 only to come up a buck short. However, in 2020 during COVID, we were in the bubble and we ended up winning it almost two years to the day now. And the Angels in their in their 61 year history only have one World Series title and that was back in 02. But the Angels, I think, once Artie Moreno bought the team, they were, I think he failed, and uh, I think it just, I think Artie was a bad owner. I mean, the the O'Malley's were a great ownership, but then Fox ruined it, then McCourt ruined it, and then we have, we've had the Guggenheim partners that have been the owners for the past 10 years, and look, we made the playoffs every year, three trips to the World Series and one championship. And um, but for the Lakers, since the Buzz family owned it, they were always a champion. And 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 even with Genie as the controlling owner, we have 11 championships in the past 44 years. That's like winning a championship every four years. And look, we've won more professional sports championships than any sport of of any North American sports. And. But yes, I I know that we're we're kind of like on the rebuilding mode. I mean, we all we had all those old players last year on that Laker team, and, but now we have a new coach in Darvin Ham who's only a rookie. So we're gonna give it some time, you know, first ten games, first twenty games, but it's not time to hit the panic button yet. And of course, the Rams just, of course just won the Super Bowl, and and they're all they're like uh, to a mediocre start and then you have the LA Kings right now they last they won a couple of Stanley Cups in recent years but I mean LA doesn't get any better than this you know meanwhile a happy birthday is going out to Bootsy Collins Mike Hargrove Mark Sweeney um, Brad Campbell and also um, to um, Gil Heredia Francisco Lariano. Well, I hope you have a good rest of your Wednesday. 
I'll catch you all later, and let's hope that the Lakers uh, go in the win column tonight. Amen. Oh, by the way, Adam Wainwright's going to be back next season for what for 2023. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.